How to deal with Google Plus shutting down. Hi, it's Steph from stephanieary.co.uk and today I'm over on Google Plus and I've been hearing a lot of rumours about Google Plus actually closing the door. Now I had heard that they'd been hacked. I don't watch the news. This news is coming from people that don't even use social media or some people that are not even online and they're all telling me that Google Plus is closing doors after the last hack of was it 50 million users data has been hacked and to me if it happens it happens there's nothing we can do about it I like Google Plus I've got a few groups on there. I do a lot of advertising on here. I get a lot of people looking at what I am advertising. And some convert, some doesn't, usual. But it's got a nice feel to it. But now yesterday, I kept, well, over the past few days, I should say, but more so yesterday, I came on here and all I could see down here was explicit porn. Every single post was porn. One looked like kiddie porn. One was a woman with a dog, for Christ's sake. There was... Ah, I'm not even going to go there but it was explicit so what I was doing I'm not going to do this to this guy's post but I was clicking on here and reporting every single one for abuse and then I think it was sexual explicit well I can't say it. anyway to do with porn and I reported it in the end I was there for god knows how long i ended up sending feedback which is over on the left and it asked me for screenshots well i didn't want no porn saved on my computer so i sent a message without screenshots i've not been on here since yesterday after reporting it and scrolling down it all seems to have disappeared now i'm not saying me reporting it has disappeared but i think between myself and probably a load of other people they've had to take it down i'm sure they're walking on eggshells at the moment but the question is if google plus is going to shut down where are all these people going to advertise? Yeah, we've got the traffic exchanges, we've got Facebook, we've got Twitter. But this is um, a lot of people. Some people only use this, they don't use Facebook. So where are these people going to go? Well, that brings me around to what are you going to do when, if, I should say, Google Plus does shut down? Well, I've got the ideal place. Now, we're all familiar with Facebook. We're all familiar with LinkedIn and Twitter. And this place I'm going to show you, which if you have been following my videos, you're aware of this place. I'm going to take you over to WebTalk. Now, WebTalk... I don't know if you would call it a social media platform. It is and it isn't. It's designed for people in business and marketers like us. Uh, there's a lot you can do on here and not everything is implemented just yet. They keep doing updates. It's in beta. Um, they're fixing all the bugs before they actually go live. And once they go live, they're going to be paying 50% of the revenue back to the users who help get it to where it is today and beyond. 
and for the people who are in now and for a short time into the future, near future, we're all going to get paid five levels deep once it's launched, once that social side, I can't remember what it's called now to be honest, it's the um, revenue share anyway. Once that side's been launched and the payments start flowing, the people in it now are going to get paid 50% revenue or a share of, we should say, five levels deep. Now, in my network of five levels deep, I've already got 5,778 people. And I've only brought in 41 directs. I will get paid 10% on each of these levels. It follows a certain criteria. You've got to be qualified for it. I'm qualified apart from the last step, which no one's qualified for that yet, till the launch of the revenue side, because it means one of my people, direct people of these 41, one of them has to upgrade. This is free to join. It's always going to be free for people, but there is an upgrade option coming in. And I think it's $20, 30 and $40 a month, depending on which level you want to come in. So one of my directs has to come in with the $20 membership. And then I'm fully qualified for payments five level deep. And it's estimated on one of the payment side, not the complete thing, but the ad revenue share, you're going to get paid estimated one cent per day per person in your network, which is 30 cents a month. And if that's the case, I mean, seeing is believing, I won't believe this till I've got money in my bank, but I'm just I've got my calculator out. We've got five seven seven eight times point three oh at the moment as it stands estimated I've got one thousand seven hundred and thirty three dollars coming my way once this is launched as it stands at the moment. Now Someone said to me, estimate it on a quarter of that, which I'll divide it by a quarter. That's still $433. That should go in my bank when this social rev share, revenue share launches. And it's paid monthly. It's going to be the 28th of the month unless they change that date for some reason and we're not quite sure there was talk of it being launched in December which means the first payments will come in in the January well I've done this in well I'm going to say I this is people in my network have made this grow to this number and and that is just in two months thereabouts in two months, I've got 41 people in, and they've all brought pe people in. And at that quarter, I should earn at least $433. Now, where else can you get a social media platform where you can post your business ads? You can... Ooh, what can you do? All sorts of things. You can do all sorts, but you can separate your contacts. You can communicate with people. You can build your network. You can build your contacts. And it, it is, it's just, 
it's similar to Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter all rolled into one. I'm just clicking on the news feed now. You can do files, that's not active yet, the files, but you can post photos, the video, we're waiting for that to launch, which should be soon. You can add contacts, you can reply to posts, RJ, I cannot say his surname, Gabowick, sorry RJ, is the CEO of WebTalk and He's always posting updates for us, um, like here tonight, the warning us that it's going to be temporarily unavailable for 50 minutes, 15 minutes while they make an upgrade to the database servers. Do you ever see Facebook or places like doing things like that? There's now over a million users in here as well, so plenty of contacts to make. Uh, look, people are advertising, people are saying good morning, they're posting quotes, and my page is just frozen for some reason. There you go. Bill's put, tell me again what the vet did to the dog. <laughs> He's comical, is Bill, I'm going to like that. Um, no. I'm going to show you the next one. This is one of the greatest pleasures in life, reading a book. If you see anything else, consult your psychologist. Anyway, enough of that. I'm just going to go back to my, my referrals. So, when Google Plus shuts down, it's not a complete disaster. It's not the end of the world. What I'm going to suggest is you come over to WebTalk and if you're not already a member, you need to know a person who is because it is, at the moment, invite only. So I will post the link below and I do hope you come over, sign up, check it out. If you do, in this box up here, Type RJ and look for RJ Gabowicz. I'll show you. RJ. All I do is put. Oh, it normally comes up. I can't. Oh, I can't remember how to spell this surname. RJ. I'll just scroll down. There we go. RJ Garbowicz, founder CEO. Click on there and click, read his profile first and foremost. So you've got the help desk, the news, there's all sorts on there. It's like a little blog. And also go on his news feed and read some of the posts and look probably best on his profile at what you need to become qualified to be part of the 50% revenue ad share so I do hope you join us over here it's not a loss that Google Plus is going like I say I love the place it could be just a rumour and it may be staying, but we all need other places to advertise anyway. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. And also, there's not many places out there that are going to pay you a share of the revenue. So come on over, links below. And what I want to know is if you could, if you could comment, What other social media platforms do you use? I use Facebook, Google Plus, WebTalk. And I'm, I'm actually looking for some more social media platforms to check out. So if you could comment below what other social media platforms you use, 
I'll be most grateful. And please share. And I hope to see you on the inside.